What's up, gang? It's your boy, Rockabelly864. Back in the building once again. Tonight's food review is going to be something a little bit different. I've actually ordered some takeout from Chewy's, a Tex-Mex restaurant here uh, located in Waverly Place in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, on the road doing some work this week, and uh, it's like right below my hotel here, so I figured... Why not give it a shot and uh, we'll see what's crack a lacking. So this review will be a little bit different. We won't do the uh, service review portion, but I'm gonna go pick it up, grab it, bring it back up here to the room. We're gonna sit down and uh, eat it together and kind of write this stuff out. See you guys in just a sec. This is a uh, different kind of happening place. It's pretty nice here, a lot of shops and hotels. It's nice apartments over that way too. Uh, this kind of reminds me of, um, kind of reminds me of the area around the Braves Stadium uh, out in Cobb County, Georgia. It's kind of what this reminds the Battery. That's what that place is called, the Battery. Uh, when I, when I think of the Battery, I think of Charleston. So I don't associate Cobb County with the ocean, but uh, that's what this place kind of reminds me of. So there's Chewy's, and it told me to actually go to a pickup parking space and text them that I was here. And I put down it's for pickup. I ain't doing that. I'm just going in and picking up my food. See y'all back in a minute. It's got a pretty nice aviance in here, a bar area. Got some doggy pictures too. And here comes my food. So I got the Elvis Presley combo. Has the Mexican rice and refried beans on it, just a shade over $18. So, um, hope this is pretty good. It's got, I got two utensils listed there. It's because I'm an idiot and uh, I don't order online often enough. So, when I did, I punched it twice. So, don't worry, I'm here solo dolo. Don't be going back and telling nobody, Rockabelly. He got some strange woman up there eating Mexican food with him in, in that hotel up in Charlotte. It's not true. I'm gonna throw the other set away, or I may take it home and use it later. All right, so as usual, we are going to rate this food on the fat scale, the speed, the friendliness, the appearance, and the taste. So uh, as far as the speed of the food uh, being, uh, well, uh, ready for me, to be picked up, it was it was ready on time. Uh, I ordered it ASAP. It said ASAP would be at 7.35 p.m. I walked in there at 7.34. She had to go back and get somebody to get it. I had it in my hands at 7.36. So uh, you're gonna get a five on your speed, uh, just based on the fact that, I mean, 15 minutes is about the norm to get some Mexican food out from, uh, from mouth uh, to table. As far as placing order, maybe uh, just a little bit longer, but I had to have to walk downstairs and all that stuff. So, yes, uh, five seems to be a fair score for the speed uh, of this particular Chewy's. Now, onto the more important some food appearance. So they got the we got the nachos. All right, talking about some food Ooh. appearance. So we got the uh, the nacho chips. With salsa, uh, that's some salsa. Looks like a little bit of pico, but it's salsa. This is, um, I'm not sure what that is. It looks like some type of, uh, I mean, some type of creamy, uh, um, God, I can't even think tonight. Some kind of creamy uh, avocado type guacamole spicy dip, maybe. Uh, it comes with a crunchy taco. Here's our crunchy taco. I'm trying to do a couple of things here without the benefit of it. Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Okay, there's the yeah, okay, there's the crunchy taco. And then it comes, it was a tostada with some queso dipping sauce. Now that's kind of messy. Now that is kind of messy, and you know, I didn't drop this bag or anything. I mean, it just came out. The one girl handed it to the um hostess and then she handed it to me, so. That's a little bit, uh, looks like somebody's been playing with their food a little bit there, and it was not Rockabelly. Now here is 
the main dish, the Elvis Presley Memorial Special. How's that? Okay. All right, we got um, three enchiladas here, uh, which there's a, uh, a chicken, a beef, and a cheese. Not quite sure which one is which. Uh, we'll find out in just a second. Uh, some refried beans there, which, yeah, look, I mean, they spilled that all back in there. So, it's not great. And some uh, Mexican rice. So, just off the rip, what do y'all think? I mean, this looks really good. That looks really good. This looks good. This does not look good. That definitely does not look good. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna give you a nice three. I'm gonna give you a nice three on the appearance of your food. Hopefully, the taste outweighs that. Oh, by the way, uh, I didn't do a friendliness score. I've given them a uh, five. So, so you got five on speed, five on your friendliness. You didn't see my interaction with the young lady, but I mean, she couldn't have been nicer. Uh, it's just uh, uh, really, really polite there, hostess and. Uh, I'm assuming the girl that gave her the food was nice, too, even though we didn't interact. Uh, I didn't buy a drink from there. Obviously, they're like $4, which is ridiculous. I got the old standby here. Whenever I come to uh, this area of North Carolina, I like to get a little bit of old diet cherry lemon sun drop. Oh, yeah. I used to live... Mm, I used to live near Gastonia. Uh, for about six years at one point in my life and I used to love the regular cherry lemon sun drop and they actually came out with the diet one after I moved away from the area so anytime I come back I like to try to get that but let's get into this and see what we got they'd be working on a perfect score right now if it didn't look like a toddler was over here trying to finger paint with his food and stuff that, that is just crazy. I'm very disappointed in that. Other than that, so far, so good. They got the really light, the light chips. It's not like the ones you get at a normal Mexican restaurant. These are real, real thin, crispy. Let's see what we got. Mmm. Got a nice kick. Guacamole, Mexi Ranch, maybe. Kind of strong. But I like it. Let me hit that. Let me hit that pico salsa. Get the goodies on there. Get on there, goodies. Hmm. Nice and fresh. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. This is a tostada. But I mean, tostada, it, it hardly has any beef on it. I don't know if, I mean, a little bit of, a little bit sprinkled off down here. If you see that in the corner, I don't know if that's supposed to be remnants of beef. I don't know. I can do without that. I'm gonna see how this taco hits. They look kind of like the joints you'd make at home. Got a really nice flavor. This is not. It's not typical Mexican food that I'd normally get from like. Well, they're not authentic Mexican restaurants, but they're they're prepared by Mexican people. Um, this is a Tex-Mex restaurant, so it's a little bit different. Let's hit up the beans. 
These are runny. I still eat them with a fork though. Mm. Cold and runny. Yeah. And most of it ran off in my enchilada sector there, as I told you. How nice is your rice? I'm a big rice person. Um, I wonder, anytime I go get some nachos, I get like double orders of rice. And when I go to Chinese places or, um, I should actually say the Japanese, like the bocce, I get a double order of steamed rice to go with like hibachi chicken. I know it's not good for it packs of pounds on, man, but that's just one carb that uh, is Rockabelly's kryptonite with some good old rice. This is okay. It's kind of bland. Let's hit up these enchiladas. See what we're working with here. Let's break out the fork. The first one's got a really dark sauce on it. If you saw it, uh, maybe that's mole sauce or mole. I don't think it's called mole sauce. It's just mole. I don't know. I think this is this is the this is the beef one. This is that beef. It's got a good mole flavor. It's not. It's it's cold. It's cold. No excuse for that. I mean, this is, it was in one of those containers with the, you know, the, the full container with the lid. Should not be cold. All right, this is, uh, this is the chicken. Mm. I like that one better. It's got a little bit of green sauce. Give it a little kick. Kind of brings it up a notch. The taste there is definitely better than the beef. We're just kind of bland. If the beef one was bland, I mean, just imagine I'm going to be disappointed here with the cheese. Mmm. Bland. Um, I'm pissed. I, I really am. Normally, normally I do these reviews. You guys, you haven't seen me uh, give a, a bad score. I don't think on uh, the, the the taste portion of food. Normally, um, this is just not hitting it for care uh, for uh, you know, Rockabelly. I almost said Carolina Jackpot. I'm not sure who that guy is. Somebody uh, took him out back somewhere. This is bland and it's cold. That's not good. And I have, really have no way of warming this. I have a microwave, but I mean, can't really deal with that. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna have to scoop it into the plastic thingamabob here. Hopefully it's microwave safe and uh, do my best with that. But I don't eat cold food. Uh, there's no reason this should be cold. Uh, you know, hand it to the girl at 736 and I came straight up here. It's not even 750 yet. Um, you're getting a one. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're getting a one on your taste. 
So you got a five for a peer, uh, no, excuse me. You got a five for your speed, five for your friendliness. Great. That's where things start to turn south real quick. Appearance, I mean, three. This looks terrible. And taste is one. It's, it's, it, it's, it's straight up arse. Straight up boo-boo. Um, I uh, would not, I, I mean, I, and I, if it were hot, if it were hot, this would get a three. I mean, it's, it, there's just, there's no spice. There's no kick. Um, I'm not sure what the appeal of this place is. Maybe it's just the ambiance, I guess. It's the cool bar. It's the cute little doggy pictures. It's the, you know, the, the nice uh, little shop in there with the pretty t-shirts and that. This food ain't hitting on a lick, boss. Uh, so you'll have to do that math in your head, guys, or do it on a piece of paper. A five for your uh, friendliness, a five for your speed, a three for your appearance, and a one for your taste. Rockabelly 864 has no pin. I had a pin I was working with. It's downstairs in my truck. There's not one in this hotel room anywhere. And this is a Hilton. This is a Hilton uh, hotel with no pin in it anywhere. I mean, there's no pin uh, in here. They don't have any of the stuff that you're supposed to have in hotel rooms anymore. There's no pin in here. There's no matches. There's no phone book. And there's no Gideon Bible. But the, they did leave me some complimentary drinking water. Thanks. I appreciate it. And uh, that. But no. Uh, I, I, well, let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what your experience has been with Chewies. Uh, either at this particular location, which I mean, I don't know that I have that many folks uh, that have been here at this particular one before. Uh, that We do have one... Uh, near home uh in greenville uh i've never been there before but i mean I, everything i've read about it on yelp i've wanted to go uh everything i've read about it on yelp is uh really positive i mean they have like a a four star average and they've got several hundred reviews so i'm not really sure what went wrong here tonight in the queen city but uh they need to uh up their game just a little bit because you know, if they're serving me cold to go food, I mean, just think of those DoorDash orders, all right? Think of that type of stuff. Think of those Grubhub orders. It's gonna be cold too. They're gonna be losing business. Need to step your game up. I'll see you guys later. I appreciate you watching. Have a great night.